All right, guys. Well, this is the official last, last video of my Axis back project. Um, couldn't let it go without putting a sheath on it, uh, safety first and all. Well, this is my first sheath for an axe. Again, this is not the most complicated uh, build that you know you're going to do with leather, but it is the first one I've done, um, and I learned a lot. I used uh, uh, ox blood for the color. And I, I tried to take some off as I put it on to kind of give it that weathered look where it's not a, a perfect even sheen all the way across. I kind of like that muddled look. Um, so right before, um, I've been having problems with the video, so if I don't get all the footage, I apologize. Before uh, I let the dye really soak in there, I went right behind it and, and put some of the conditioner on it to try to wipe and clean some of it off. Um, basically I've got it, uh, glued around the edges and I've done, you know, your basic saddle stitch over here, uh, went ahead and used the awl to push through the holes. Uh, that way, um, the fibers of the leather come back together, you know, uh, instead of drilling the holes cause that, that bores through it this way, the, the leather will cinch up back around the stitches and I secured the corners with some Chicago screws, uh, Got a button right here, and I decided to do something a little bit unique on this side, and just do a little stamping right here. I got a stamp kit uh, not long ago, and been itching for uh, a reason to use it. And you know, I'm looking at the uh, the sheath, and it's absolutely not perfect. You know, if I had hindsight 2020, I'd have probably gone through and uh, put the sheath on first, and then put this in because it should have get, gone at a little bit of a steeper angle. But I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'm shooting this while it's still wet and while there's still dye on my hands just because I wanted to get this video out. And there's the sheath right there taken out. Came across pretty well. Came out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. You know, a little bit of leather here. I used uh, eight, and, uh, seven, um, eight, nine, eight to nine ounce tooling leather. And again, uh, ox blood was the color I chose. Um, I still got to go through, let it dry, probably do some more conditioning to it. But I want to leave it inside the sheath for a while and uh, kind of let it, you know, conform to it while it's drying. While the uh, I have a lot of room over here while it's uh, while the dye is drying. So that's it, guys. All said, all done. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Like it a lot. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the website. Got a new knife that I just put out there. Um, I'll leave a link to that down below. And uh, probably do some video on the knives uh, in the next couple of days here. So we'll, we'll keep a check out on that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Email me, Primal Legend and Leatherworks at gmail.com, and I'll be more than happy to try to help you out. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great day, and uh, I'll see you in the woods.
Shine.